They call me the mastermind, well the name says it itself. My IQ, I believe, is on a different level to my opponents. When it comes to striking, when it comes to grappling, when it comes to mixing it all together, no one does it like me. Fighting has been in my blood for a very long time. My granddad was a champion wrestler in Pakistan. From hearing his stories and seeing his success, it's motivated me. And my goal is to bring the UFC back to Pakistan, hopefully one day. I've always been inspired by Mike Tyson growing up. That's someone like, even as a kid, I used to just sit there on the PC and watch his fights. From the ages from 10 to 14, I was boxing, but I was a bit street oriented. Randomly, one time I came across the UFC on um, TV, like Bravo or something. I was just interested because it's like a street fight back then. Watching MMA is like a street fight, but there was technical elements to it and I was intrigued by the grappling part. I was like, what happens when he hit the, hits the floor? And then from there, I started learning it. And then from there, I start combining that with striking and then competing and then won two titles as amateur. And now then I tried to go pro, which now I'm 5 0, three TKOs, two submissions. I think the thing that separates Faisal from a lot of people as well is his mindset. Um, the very first time I met Faisal, I sat down. I always ask fighters when I first meet him, what do you want? Like, what, what do you want to do as a fighter? Where do you want to go? And he just looked at me and said, I'm going to be a UFC world champion. Not one to be, I'm going to be. And, and I honestly, hand on how I believe it will. My name is Tyrone Power, uh, I'm a former kickboxing world champion and I am Faisal's main striking coach. Um, I think the improvements he's made in the last year and a half to two years have been drastic and when he gets out onto the big stage I think it will really be, it will really be good for everyone to see the improvements he's made behind closed doors. His wrestling and his groundwork, anybody that you ask that knows Faisal will tell you how good it is. A lot of people have one thing that they're best at, but they're good at everything at the top level. Faisal will fit in at the top, top level because he is good over them. Yeah, one of my goals is basically to take UFC to South Asia, Pakistan and inspire all the kids that are there and to show that there's so much talent in the world that's not been found yet. And through me, by me going there, I'll open the doors for many more champions after that. This is my community gym. So as you can see, this is George St. Pierre and that's Habib Nurmagomedov. The most complete fighters for me in martial arts, especially George St. Pierre, he's my favorite fighter because he can do it all. And with, with that, he's also got the best IQ I've ever seen. But it's not just that outside of the ring as well. They're both great leaders and they're great people for society. And hopefully one day I can be just like them. So my next fight is on the next cage. And for that fight, um, training wise, I'm looking to take it out to UAE for a couple of weeks and test out the great facilities they have there. I want to be the best and I want to be the um, I want to be the UFC, the UFC champion and also take UFC to Pakistan, which is one of my goals. Is this, this game is about, it's not just being um, a great athlete, you have to have a great mind as well, because there's so much elements to martial arts. This is where I believe I'm ahead of everyone, that I feel like I'm way smarter than most fighters. The way I study the fight, what I see in my opponents, like I can fight them anyway, yeah, and I honestly believe that there's, any, there's not anyone in my division in the UFC that I can't beat.